Summer vacation season is at its peak. We just heard that hotel prices have gone up and airfares are trending the same way. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live in Biltmore Park this morning, catching up with some folks on a cross-country tour that is not breaking their bank. Victoria, we are actually talking about RVing. That's right. In fact, uh, I'm standing in front of this pretty nice little uh, motorhome RV here. This is a Winnebago model, and it's what Brad and Amy Herzog are traveling around in this summer. And actually, this is what you do every summer, isn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah go ahead, Amy. <laughs> um, for the 14th, for this is our 14th summer in a row traveling around in a motorhome, and we just really love it. Now, here's the interesting thing. It's because Brad knows how to write that they get to drive, right? Correct? In a manner of speaking, <laughs> yes. Uh, um, I've written. 30 plus books, a lot of children's books, but I've also written three American travel memoirs and um, and about sort of looking, th searching for the nooks and crannies of the country and the little towns there. And so, you know, our first trip was 18 years ago, I think, in a house on wheels. We fell in love with the experience and now I do it every summer and it's a great way to get to those nooks and crannies. Now, um, you call it a house on wheels. It, is that like, for me, that's about as rough as I want to get it when I go camping and stuff. Is that kind of the same deal for you all? Is this as... Yeah, I mean, you know, when we, the, before we had ever been in an RV, I had barely ever been camping before. I'd never been to a national park. And um, shortly after we were married, after a very cold winter in Chicago, he turned to me and he said, how would you like to just quit our jobs and drive around the country for a year and I'll try and write a book about it and we'll, we'll get an RV and see what happens. And I just said, sure. And what we didn't expect was how much we loved the RV part of it. We thought, well, the RV was just going to be the way we would get to all the states in the country. But mm. instead, we loved the RV itself. So can I ask you in our next half hour to open the doors, let us have a tour, see how much fun it is to go RVing? We'll go in. It's the adventure yeah. of the open road. we got the comforts of home. I like that. So that's what we're going to have for you when we come up next in our next half hour, reporting live in Biltmore Park, Victoria Dunkel News 13. Don't be in a rush, though, to let the rising gasoline prices make you rethink road trip plans. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live in Biltmore Park with some folks who found a way to keep their sightseeing on track and on budget. Good morning, Vic. Good morning. We're actually now inside Brad and Amy Herzog's uh, RV home away from home. Actually, it really is just flat out home for you, isn't it? It is. Uh, you know, every every summer we do a, about a six or eight week trip, uh, and we live in California the other, the rest of the year. But we always look forward to our summers because we get to sort of get into the nooks and crannies of the country and explore America rather than just speeding through it or flying over it. But you know, we just did the story about how gas prices are going up. How is it? You were telling me though that this is really an economical way to do it by doing an RV uh, trip. Yeah, there's there have actually been studies that have compared the typical fly hotel rental car vacation to an RV vacation for a family of four, and uh, inevitably the RV vacation is anywhere from 25 to almost 60 percent less expensive. There's various reasons for that. You, you don't have to pay for hotels every night. You don't have to pay for flights. You don't have to. You're not obligated to eat three meals a day in restaurants. You have the option to. And today we're going to go to Tupelo Honey Cafe. Oh, good uh, choice. Yeah, but um, and also um, they're making RVs these days a lot more uh, um, fuel efficient, lightweight. This is only a 25 and a half foot Winnebago V. It's a small one. Uh, it's built on a Mercedes chassis. It gets about 16 to 18 miles per gallon, which is about what my minivan at home gets. Wow. Uh, so there are a lot of reasons where we feel like we save money by traveling this way. Now, normally, uh, you have your boys with you, but they're at camp this summer, so you've gone kind of downsized a little. Amy, tell us a little bit about what, you know, from a girl's perspective, I mean, as a wife and mother, you got to have room to cook for the kids and clean and all that. How is that when you're doing it on an RV level? Right. Well, I can't imagine traveling any other way with kids. I mean, our kids travel with us all summer from, you know, through diapers and, and learning to walk and potty training and, you know, school age and, you know, the RV. It was able to help us get through all those times so easily. I mean, we could, you know, stop and pull over for nap time, or if they needed to go to the bathroom, pull over, and you know, there you go. So, but the thing I like the best is just having our home with us. They got to sleep in the same bed every night, and everyone knows with little kids that's really important. They they have that routine. They need to be comfortable. And if you're taking them from hotel to hotel or packing and unpacking with kids, that's just kind of a nightmare. <laughs> uh, it really well put. Is. But in. I, I really appreciate just having a full refrigerator, fresh vegetables, mm -hmm. and, and uh, healthy snacks. You know what? That's a, a huge selling point for me, mm -hmm. too. But as I mentioned earlier, uh, last half hour, Brad is actually an author. And so while they're here, too, you can actually check out. Uh, he's going to be speaking and, and doing a book signing uh, at Spellbound Children's Bookstore. This is his new newest book. He's written a lot of kids' books, so mom, dad, bring the kids out. And uh, you can find out more about the RVing experience and find out about his new book coming up later today. Uh, 3 o'clock, right? 3 yeah. o'clock. All right. And we have all the details for you at WLOS.com. Click on News Links. Plus, they also want a few more tips. One day in Asheville, 
Let us know on our Facebook page where they should go. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll uh, maybe share a few of the ideas. Live in Billmore Park, Victoria Dunkel News 13. We're in prime summer vacation season, and one couple is on a mission to share their love of road trips. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live in Biltmore Park. So, Victoria, why do they say that an RV is the only way to go? Because it gives them the opportunity to come up with the chances of books like this. Turn left at the Trojan Horse. Brad Herzog is an accomplished author, and this is just one of the books he's written about all the travels that they have done in the past decade plus of RVing. Um, why is it that the RV experience has uh, really led to all these books? Or was it the other way around? Uh, well, the first time it was because I thought, came up with an idea of writing a book about these 18 tiny little towns around the country named Wisdom, Montana, and Hope, Mississippi, and Pride, Alabama. And so that motivated us to take our first year-long RV trip. But I realized that it's a great way to sort of clear the existential cobwebs in your brain and, 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 and really enlighten yourself and your family. Um, so I love to get out there and write about it. That's why I write a blog for a website called GoRVing.com. Every summer when we take these six-week road trips, I write about the experiences, the people we meet, the places we go, and there's always a new story to find. And everywhere. you're excited about meeting the folks here in Asheville. Amy, tell us a little bit about this because this is the road map, so to speak, for what could be Brad's next book. Um, well, we, you know, everything's fodder for Brad. I mean, he just he finds story everywhere. But I mean, we've had an amazing trip. We kind of we, we mostly wanted to focus on the southeast this year. It's been about four years since we've been in this area of the country, and we've just had an amazing time. And one of our, one of the huge highlights was driving the entire length of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Um, so we're kind of, you know, we took a little detour to stop in Asheville, and then we're going to hop back on again and finish on, to the very bottom. It's one of our favorite detours, i got to yeah. tell you. Yeah. Now, uh, you also write for the younger readers, and this is a great, this is his new book, and it's a true story, based on a true story. Uh, tell us about this book real quickly. Yeah, I have a book uh, signing at Spellbound Children's Bookshop at 3 p.m. today, and it's a it's a true story from 100 years ago, the U.S. Open, where a 20-year-old unknown amateur and his 10-year-old caddy won the whole thing. It's sort of Rocky and Knickers is the way I describe it. <laughs> That's a great way to describe it, yeah. and he is so descriptive, both in the books and on the blog. We've got links to all of it at our website, and coming up in our next half hour, we are going to get the grand tour of their home on wheels and why it may be an interesting idea for your next vacation. Reporting live in Biltmore Park, Victoria. Uncle News 13. A simple way to see the nation has rolled right up to our station doors. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live with Brad and Amy Herzog. They are on their annual RV trip across the country. Victoria, why do they say this is the only way to go? Well, because of this. We're actually inside their home or their home for several weeks in the summer. They've been doing this for 14 years. And I have to admit, I was telling you earlier, RVing is my favorite way to travel and see the world because you do get these creature comforts that come right with you, right? Yeah, it's it's all the comforts of home. And I'm, you know, I'm not the handiest or most campy guy out there. So, <laughs> um, so this is great. I mean, we have all, we have all these amenities. We have uh, microwave convection oven. We have oh. this is actually a sink. Okay. Um, and over here on the counter is a stove top. So that's they, where you cook. They really use every inch of space. It's sort of like John Steinbeck meets James Bond. It's all these you know gadgets. And uh, there's a, a, a refrigerator freezer that's a pretty good size. And um, it's and we've got a bed in the background. We've got a bathroom with a shower, a full bathroom. Uh, that's impressive and um, two, two flat screen TVs, so it's very comfortable. Cute. It's Yeah, there's one actually in the bedroom back there. And then Ooh. actually this is a bedroom too, because you. it's real easy. You just sort of pull this down and it becomes a bed. Now see, that's for the folks back. to go, oh, I don't want it to unpack the whole RV. I mean, tent camping is one thing, but you gotta set it up and tear it down. That was what? Three seconds at most, yeah. maybe. Yeah, it's very simple, and and uh, and then you know when this is up and you're driving, there's still this big picture windshield, and I, I always think of it as like there's a movie of America playing in front of you. Oh, and, very you know, cool. And any time you want, you can stop the film and you can enter the picture. And that's a great, really magical feeling. And then we play a soundtrack with it. You know, Willie Nelson, Bruce Springsteen, the Almond Brothers. You know, it, it just it's just a, a great vibe, a great feeling when you're on the road. And you know what's really amazing is they're going to be here in town today. They have a book signing because Brad is an author. Uh, he's going to be down at Spellbound Children's Books this afternoon at 3 o'clock. They've also been asking you on our Facebook page to give them ideas of where to go. They have already picked Tupelo Honey for breakfast. Some other places that they need to check out in their one day that they really have to do sightseeing here. And you can also follow the blog that Brad does. Um, and it's Go RVing is, is really the way to go. I think you guys have got a pretty good idea here. Thanks for stopping yeah. by. Our pleasure. Thanks for having us. All right. And come back and visit again. Reporting live at Biltmore Park, Victoria and Uncle News 13.